I'm going to show you the inside of an original Helium hotspot as well as how to flash the SD card. Okay, so as you can see here, the yellow light is actually on and it's been on for a few months now and I've also not been earning very many rewards for a few months now as well. So uh, what we're going to do is open this up. So the first thing you obviously need to do is unplug it and I also suggest just taking the uh, antenna off just in case. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip this over. Now my normal um, screwdriver couldn't open this so I had to get a mini one. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. All right, so we got it open now and we'll flip it over for you. So you can see where the air circulates and stuff in here. That's kind of cool with the little fan and stuff. So I think it's really cool here that the this is actually the little light thing and that is the thing that actually lights up. So this is the inside and of course the first thing we need to do is locate the SD card. Um, let me show you where that is, but I would like to show you can see it's helium branded right there I thought that was kind of cool and stuff like that. So let's see So I don't know if you can actually see it, but the SD card is actually near the fan. It's right there It's that little black thing right there um, And we need to pull that out. I think it's going to be a micro SD by the look of it So let's go ahead and pull that little guy out. I got some tweezers for this. I Don't know if tweezers are going to be any helpful so yeah, give me a second. I got a different pair of tweezers here to see if these will work for me. Okay, so what I had to actually do is push really hard and kind of like pry it out. And now I got loose. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, well it's no longer pretty. <clears throat> Oh, we got it. There we go. I think I got it now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So we got the SD card out. That's actually the bottom of the SD card. So it looks like we're using a SanDisk Extreme, and this is a 64-bit. So let's go ahead and flash this thing. So what you're going to need now is a SD card converter to plug it into your computer if you don't natively have one. If you would like one then I will put one in the description to help you guys out with finding one. Um, the one I have works with USB-C as well with normal USB 2.0 um, and they sell one with micro USB as well. Alright so we're going to put this into the micro SD slot and plug this into the computer. So we're gonna to have to put this to the side, but I did notice here that this is a rack heat sink or something here. So it looks like they worked together back then when they made the original ones. But anyways, we're gonna show you how to actually flash the SD card out. Okay, now that we got it plugged in, let me show you what you need to do. So what you need to do is go to the link in the description and you're going to need to copy and paste the last link here and that will download the uh, most recent release of the firmware image file and you'll need to download balance etcher in order to flash the sd card itself so let's go ahead and download those okay so you can see that i went ahead and downloaded them and i got it all ready and i got balance etcher ready to go so what you're going to need is a flash from file so what you're going to need to do is select that file and then select the target of the SD card. Make sure you select the right SD card. Otherwise, you might accidentally flash something else, which would be very, very bad for your computer. So in my case, make sure I select the correct hard drive. We're going to go over here to this PC. And then you'll see all the different options you have here to flash. So I may actually have found out why my miner wasn't working in the first place because as you can see here I cannot even see it on there so let me show you an example. Let me take this SD card and plug it in and show you that nothing's happening. And as you can see nothing popped up on the screen so uh, let me show you what happens when I put a different micro SD card in my SD card reader and it will work. 
So you can see that one popped up right away and it even shows up down here. So the reason my hotspot may not be working is because the SD card got fried somehow. So I'm literally going to throw this SD card away and we'll see what happens here if I try to flash this brand new SD card. Now it looks like on the website you can flash any SD card, that's fine. But the serial numbers and such are actually on the hotspot itself. So when we do this, it's not even going to change its unique name or anything. So we're going to take this, pop it in the trash, and I got a different 64 gigabyte hard drive that we're going to put into this hotspot. Okay, so we know for sure that we want to use drive E because when I unplug it and plug it back in, that's what we have. So we're going to go back here, select target. We're going to make sure we select E, E. So we got location E. Let's go ahead and select that, select that. And now what we're doing is putting the flash image that we downloaded from the URL from the website onto this and we'll erase everything else that is not in this image. So let's go ahead and flash. Hey, there you go. So uh, now the flash is complete. If this says something about you need to uh, format something else, don't worry about it. Just exit out and go ahead and eject the USB device that has the SD card reader. And uh, there you go. Now let's go put it back in the hotspot and see how it works. Okay, so we got a different SD card here that we just flashed and we're gonna go ahead and put it back into the hotspot. So remember it goes in upside down um, and it, right into the slot next to the fan now in my stupid case i accidentally pushed it underneath of it <laughs> but i got it out just slid right out let's try it again there we go now it's in there for real let's go ahead and put this back on top um we're not going to screw it in together yet so the best way i know how to put the top back on is you'll see this part here that's opening that goes where the fan and the vent is so let's go ahead and slide that right there And now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and let's see if it's working. Now, keep in mind, you must always put an antenna on a hotspot. If you do not put the antenna on a hotspot when you power it on, you have a chance of frying the system. So that's very, very important. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on and then the power. Let's go ahead and see if it boots up and see if it starts syncing to the blockchain yellow light but that doesn't mean anything yet okay so it did turn green which is it's not turned green for months now so i think i actually fixed it by getting a new flash drive now you can actually get a new flash drive if you email helium so this is their new email remember they're nova labs now and not helium so keep that in mind if you email their old email at hello at helium.com it doesn't work so you have to use the new nova hello email in order to contact them but it's turned green now and you can see on the website it still says need attention that's because it's going to take a while in order for it to sync to the blockchain and such and then it's also in light hot spots now so we're going to go ahead and see what happens but green means good right so i'll be back with you guys shortly Okay guys, so after allowing the Helium hotspot to uh, sync to the blockchain and uh, get that light hotspot update, it looks like that it is working just fine if you look here. And uh, yeah, and I also wanted to say definitely check out new merch. We have a new cup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you are enjoying it and that this was able to help you let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions about your helium hotspot also check in the description for the new helium hotspot email address if you need support directly from helium also consider joining the helium discord if you have any specific questions about helium as well as consider joining my discord especially if you like gaming or if you just want to talk about cryptocurrency that's cool too well anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video 
video if it was helpful or interesting definitely give it a like and also give me a subscribe as well if you would like to see more helium content or gaming content or if you would like to see my monthly live stream where i share with you guys how much money i actually make every single month with all my helium miners and my avado and other crypto miner stuff anyways guys as always stay safe stay active stay healthy god bless peace Let's go back on.